So you're trying to decide whether to get a trail bike or enduro bike, or more specifically, whether you should get the Trek Fuel EX or the Trek Slash. But what's the difference between these two bikes and which bike is right for you? If you take a look on Trek's website, these bikes look pretty much identical. So we're gonna talk a little bit about some of those similarities, but we're also gonna talk about the differences, including one huge difference between the Fuel EX and the Slash. We'll go over my experience owning and riding both of these bikes. And by the end of this video, we will have you set on which full suspension bike is right for you. Starting with the similarities, these bikes look almost identical as you're checking them out on the website. And even in person, I find myself having to check that top tube to see if it's a Fuel EX or a Slash. They have the same frame design, same suspension layout. Both of them have 29 inch wheels, down tube storage, alloy and carbon options, similar colors, and they're not too far off in price point, although the Slash is slightly more expensive. But what do you get for those extra bucks? And what's the big difference between these two bikes? Now there's definitely some small geometry tweaks that make a big difference on how these two bikes ride. The Slash is a lot longer, slacker, more downhill focused. The frame is also easily converted to coil where the Fuel EX is not designed for that coil conversion. You got a bit more down tube protection on the Trek Slash. And you're also gonna notice some component differences between the different models with the Slash coming with bigger four piston brakes, a little bit beefier tires, which all add up to a weight difference with the Fuel EX in the mid to high 20 pound range and the Trek Slash in the mid 30 pound range, depending on which parts you put on the bike. But the biggest difference, and the one that's really the tipping point for which bike is right for you and the type of riding you do, is the amount of suspension travel and overall suspension design of each one of these bikes. So let's talk about the suspension a bit and my experience owning and riding not only the Trek Fuel EX, but the Trek Slash. The Fuel EX is a 130-140 trail bike, so 130 mils travel in the rear, 140 mil fork, max capable fork on this bike per Trek's recommendations is a 150 millimeter fork. So definitely within that trail bike range. And you're usually gonna find the Fuel EX spec with something like a Fox 34 variant or maybe even a RockShox brand fork. Now the Slash on the other hand is a 160, 170 bike. So definitely in that enduro bike category with 160 millimeters of rear travel and a 170 fork with a max fork on there of a 180 millimeter fork. And if you put on a 180, you're definitely into kind of like that super enduro and or downhill bike range. And the slashes usually come with like the biggest, beefiest single crown fork, something like the Zeb or like my 9.7, I have the Fox 38 on there. But what did I notice when riding these two types of bikes and which bike is right for you? When I first purchased the Fuel EX, I was looking for a versatile full suspension mountain bike capable of handling every trail in my local mountains, looking for that one bike that does it all. And I'd heard such good things about the Fuel EX. It was also a little bit cheaper than the Slash and at that time, I really didn't think I would need the amount of travel the Slash gave me, but I still wanted a 29er, so I definitely wasn't gonna go with the Remedy either. But after purchasing this bike, my riding started to evolve. It started to change. I was starting to ride bigger hits, really ride gnarlier trails on a more consistent basis. I was pushing my limits and that 130 rear travel with the lightweight rear shock and the 140 fork was just holding me back. I needed a bike that I could continue to progress on that would inspire confidence in me to really take my riding to that next level on that much gnarlier terrain, which is why the Slash became the bike of choice for me. But which bike is right for you? Well, I think it comes down to what type of trails you ride most of the time. Are you the type of rider that is definitely pushing beyond what like an XC bike can handle? You're riding every trail on your mountain. You want the most efficient climb up and down to get those extra laps in. But you 
only rarely ride the gnarliest, steepest trails, the Fuel EX is a perfect bike for you. But if you're that rider that's always searching for the biggest drops, the gnarliest black diamond trails, you want to hit those bike park laps as much as possible, and you're rarely concerned with how light a bike is or how fast you can pedal back up to the top, then you need to get the slash. Now for those riders that are stuck somewhere in between, maybe you know you want a 29er, but you're not sure if you need the full amount of 160, 170 travel that the slash would give you, then there's a third recommendation because one of the options I thought about getting was getting the Fuel EX that I already had and increasing the fork, getting that 150, like a 150 Fox 36 fork on there, which would give you a true all mountain bike, something that's still got a little bit better pedal and efficiency, a little bit lighter, but could definitely handle just about everything you throw at it. But I wanna know what you guys think after listening to all this. So leave a comment below and let me know which bike you currently ride or which bike you're thinking about getting. Did this video help you decide? But most importantly, check out that next video. I got plenty more about the Trek Fuel EX and about the Trek Slash. And as always, get stoked, go ride, and have some fun, people.